Hello, uh, this is a kind of a follow-up video to, uh, uh, to, I did a video on, uh, creating the drawing process, and then I did a video on creating, uh, a folder for your prototypes in each project, and, uh, then I, uh, I wanted to do this bill of materials with exact weight, because this project I have, this, you can see these stringers are saw tooth cut, so the weights uh don't come in exactly right so if we go in we'll check this see what this list is this is the out of box list so structured list so let's open up this structured list so go to output and structured list open and resave it straight away so you don't mess it up so save as and so I'll just call it structured list AA. Save. All right. So first of all, uh, I don't want my structured list to be in decimals. I want it to be pounds and ounces. So just check the units inside this prototype, inside this bill of materials, and then go to home and do your project sentence weight. And you can see the weight here is set to decimal. So I want to change that to pounds. So it's going to show up as ounces and pounds. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So that's good. So save that again. So now if I go in here, there's a couple of things I want to change. I want to, we can unlock these. So let's go to output. And if you click this one here, it'll unlock all these. Now I would recommend doing it this way, selecting and adding removing elements. So remove object, select the cell you want to remove, then you can edit that cell. Then go back in, select the row of cells, add objects and add that back in. It won't work unless you add it back in and it's all one. But I've been doing quite a bit of messing around so I'll unlock them all. So I want to go to this one first, which is the weight. So we can see that this is set to do just weight. So we don't want this to be the weight because this will be the weight before the features and the holes. So we want to delete this. Now be careful when you're deleting because you'll press delete twice, but it has not deleted that first space. Now it has deleted the first space. So you'll have to re-click and delete. So what I want to do is exact weight. So we want to do exact weight. So basically we can change the token and just put exact in front of it. So we're going to go to this one. And this is weight in all assemblies. So we want to change this. Oh no, sorry. Click on this again. So this is weight in all assemblies in current phase. You see it highlighted there. So go up here. Exact weight. For all assemblies in current phase. Now you can see I have not deleted the other one. So I want to go in here. Delete. Now there's a space in here. If you leave this space. This token won't work. So you know. Obviously I need to make this smaller. Let's go back in. Delete the whole thing. It's all gone. Now go back in and put it in correct. So what was it again? Exact way in all assemblies in current phase. Okay. So that one should be good. This one is the same as this one, and I want to get rid of it because I don't like how it looks. Now, what I've done there is incorrect. I don't want to delete it. I want to go in here and delete what's inside the box. So go in here and delete this. As you can see, it deletes so much of it, and then it stops delete. So just be careful you delete everything. All right, so that's gone. So that means I will get rid of this one here, which I don't want, because I, I don't need this entry in here twice. Uh, all right, so now we want to go to this. This is the sum. So if we click on this, it's the sum of the weight in all assemblies in current phase. Uh, I'm in the wrong one there. I should be in this one. So let's see what this one is. This is the weight 
in assembly. So that's what we want. So this is the way of all parts in assembly. So I want that, but I want it to be exact. So I want it to be the exact weight. So delete, click again, delete again. Exact weight in assembly. And this last one. We want to change this to this one is exact weight in all assemblies in current phase. Or sorry, it's weight in all assemblies current phase. We want it to be exact. So click here, delete. Click here, delete the space. And sorry, I will pass the direct exact weight in all assemblies in current phase. All right. So now I just want to put some text over here. So let me copy this. I want to copy this out to here. And I'm going to change this text to total weight, uh, total weight one assembly, total weight one assembly. All right. So now move that from here. Uh, move that up to there and I just move this other side of this box across to there all right now so what we want to do is unlock that now if we go in here we'll see this is not part of any group so we want to add this to this group over here so click on the group you want to add it to add objects click on the text so that text is now added Now, if anything comes up blank, it means you've made a mistake or there's a space in there. So let's click on this template. Let's change it to the one with a double A. Okay. And sorry, I'll put labels, dimensions, update lists. And we can see that we have, as you can see, I have a mistake on my model. I need to go in and change this to aluminum, just in case you're wondering. Um, so the weight seems to be good, 106. So if we go to ST112, which I believe is this one. Sorry, my quick properties is off the screen. Um, ST112, yeah, the exact weight is 104. So if we go back to our list, the exact weight is 104. Now, I plotted earlier and 112 from the original list st 112 was 153 so you can see from the original list it was the total weight so i mean they don't want to know the total weight they don't want it these weights are too high so it's going to give them wrong readings in the shop or on site when they go to lift everything on so this is what it looks like. You can see the total is here and the total of two assemblies is here. There's two in the phase. So that's fine. That's the way I want it. Now all I have to do is go back in and change this. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, this can be a little tricky. The video is a bit longer than I expected, but uh, it's better to go through it a little bit slowly so you can understand uh, what you're doing. Sometimes you have to check You'll have to check the different tokens to see what they turn up for you. But uh, if you want to get your weight right, this should work for you. All right. Uh, please like, subscribe. Oh, actually, before I go, one other issue. You can see here this is coming in with this. This is coming in here with the, uh, with the assembly number for the main part of the assembly. I don't want that coming in. I want that coming in with a single part. I don't have that as the same number. So let's open this again. Uh, open this again. Go to double A. So what I want to do is go to here. You can see, you can just barely see this part number. So let me click on this P. That's the first box. And you can see if you go in here that this is calling out the part number. And we don't want to call out the part number because the part number will go firstly to the assembly number. 
so we want to go single part number for this box so I'm going to single part number and if the single part number was the same as the assembly then it would still be fine anyway so now we want to add that back in so that's the one there we want to add that back in so let's add to this add objects sorry uh, I think I've added it already I added it the other way around did I? sorry I haven't got everything turned on that should be good uh, let's go back into drawing open this up and update lists and we can see hopefully this number yeah so this number come in as st111 which is what the number is of that stringer uh, this play is the landing plate that's why it's very large okay so that's it um all right i hope that helps you out it'll maybe help you understand your bill of materials lists a little bit better all right take care bye-bye